So on the long road home, one of the things that we do is we never stop by the average chain restaurant. Not that I have anything against that, but if I'm out traveling around, I want to eat some really good local flair type of food. And one of my favorite places to go to when I'm in the St. Louis area, especially here in Swansea, Illinois, is Joe Bacardi's restaurant. And today I brought along my good friend Ray Bacardi. How are you, brother? Good, Dean. How you doing Good to today? see you. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, uh, somebody who's watching the show for the first time, they've never heard of Joe Bacardi's. What is it you're famous for? Actually, we're famous for our local pizza. We right. do the thin crust St. Louis style pizza. We hand roll our own crust. We don't do the pre-bought stuff. Um, Hang on one second. Sorry. You heard what he said, right? St. Louis style. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Go ahead. Cool. Wow. That is St. Louis style yeah, at its right best there. right there. I'm going to let you know. A little different shaped oval set around like most, you know, most of the pizzas you're used to seeing are around. These are ovals, like I guess we hand roll them. I love that you cut it into squares thing. too. Yeah. yeah. And the other, the other big thing that makes it a St. Louis style pizza is right here, the cheese. Pro Bell cheese. You can't find this outside of the St. Louis area. Oh my God, it's so good. This right here is one of the coolest parts about my job is I get to go to the greatest restaurants, the local spots, especially like Ray Bacardi's here in Swansea, Illinois. And they let me come into the kitchen and look around and then I get to make my own pizza pie. All right, so uh, this is hand rolled dough. Y'all made this? This has all been pre-hand pre rolled. Sweet. We uh, let them sit, cool off, and then we keep them refrigerated. There you go. There's What's this taste like when it's raw? Oh, that's all right. I'll try this piece here. It's, it's, it's much better when it's cooked, but it's not bad right there. Yeah. You put on one scoop or two? Just one. Just really? I got, I got to stretch this out? Yeah. Yeah. So far, if I was a pizza maker, I would be fired. Now we're going to put some cheese on there. Oh, awesome. And I just grab a little stack. We're going to start. Usually the best way to do it. Yeah. We're going to start up here at the top. Mm -hmm. Go in there, and then mm -hmm. kind of work your way down each side. Yeah, yeah work your way down. All right. Just like that. And then just fill, yeah. just fill in, kind of rip it, fill it in there. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I ran out of cheese. So good. What are we going to put on? on here? We got bacon, we have onion, mushrooms, hamburger, Italian sausage, pepperoni, green peppers, any bacon, black olives. Yeah, we want that. We want all of it? Yeah. Is it possible to put too many flavors on the pizza to mess it up? Absolutely not. You can put anything on a pizza. All right, what else you want on here? Um, let's put some bacon on there. Wait, no, I want to try your specialty Canadian bacon, right? All right. Why don't you grab bacon, you can do that one. I'll do, I'll do this side, you do that one. You've been in the family business your entire life, right? Uh-huh. When do you think the first time you made a pizza pie was? Oh, I was probably seven or eight, maybe. Yeah, and your entire family is Italian? Oh yeah, my dad is yeah. from uh, southern Italy. My mom's from Sicily. Both came over, as they say, on the boat. So I, I know here in America we like to call it marinara. Do you guys call it gravy or do you call it sauce? Well, we call it sauce. Now, yeah. On the East Coast they call it gravy. <laughs> <laughs> where, where you're at. Yeah. I used to have some Italian buddies I hung out with when I was in summer camp, and they loved to call it uh, gravy. Yeah. I'm like, what are you talking about? They like, yeah, get the marinara gravy. Put that on there. It's delicious. Okay, we got it. Uh, we got it set up. What's next? You gotta put put it in the oven. Do you wanna do it? Yeah. Like that fella's doing. I was whipped by something that looked like this a whole lot all the way through grade school. Kind of reminds me of an Egyptian fan. <laughs> all right, you got it? Yeah, boy, it barely fits on there. So we'll so throw it on top it. here. We'll put it on right. the top deck. Let's take a peek. It's getting there. It's getting there. It's getting there. Well, no. All right here. Are you kidding me? All right, listen, I'm going to let you cut this because it is a St. Louis thing. Man, that looks delicious. There you go. Perfect. So can I can I take this one out and sure get it to the yours. fellas? All right. All right, keep rolling. Keep still rolling. Hey, it's a pizza pie. Hey. Me paisanos. <laughs> Look what I made for you. Oh. It's a go to pizza pie. Did you actually make that? I actually made it. It's in oh. a kitchen. Hey, you ever heard of Hillbilly Talk Italian? <laughs> actually, you know what? That's a better British accent than you did yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> now, right, how are you going to put it? I'm going to put it on top of this last toasted ravioli. Oh, right. I'll stuff that in my pie hole and we can start oh, chewing down on this one. This salt and pepper, that ain't necessary. Mm -hmm.